Sean Sport in podcast form. Well, look at us doing all of Sean's work while well, he's Can't not even here. Handle it. Filthy about it, of course, but delighted mm. to welcome to the show the one and only uh, Jonathan Brown, one of the hosts of Brownie's podcast. And you might say that they named it after him, yep. but also Campbell Brown's on it, so maybe not. Okay. Um, and um, one of the um, recent escapees from Nova 937. Oh, sorry, Nova, Nova. nationally. Yes. Um, Brownie, hello. Hello, Brownie. Hello, hello, hello. It's great to be back on. How are you guys? Oh. Brownie, how is it on the flip side of getting up early? What's it like? <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I've got my life back. Oh, stop it, Brownie. <laughs> tell, tell, me a bit, tell me a bit about it. Oh, although, like although food I must porn. Admit, I must admit, though, no, Nate, so I don't know what's harder, working with Sam, putting up with Sam Payne mm. or trying to hurry up my 13-year-old daughter to get her eyelash, eyelashes done after she spent 40 minutes in front of the mirror yeah. before school drop-off. So. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> tough. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason Sean took a breakfast radio gig so we didn't have to be home for that. It's actually harder than you think, getting mm. the troops rounded up and getting them off to school. So, mm. um, But anyway, I missed the guys. We actually caught up with Sam Ping and Chrissy Swan the other day and we had a couple of drinks with them the other night, which was which is really nice. So uh, good to see the old crew back together. Yeah. Mm. Now, um, uh, one of your co-hosts on the podcast is, of course, Dino, who is close to our hearts because we worked with him yeah. here and then he he worked with you as well. Uh, loves yeah. his footies. Good West Coast Eagles boy. How do you go with that? All right? He's a mad West Coast boy. Yeah. So he, well, he's the brains beyond the podcast. So he's Jesus. a querying boy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... That's <laughs> a low bar. <laughs> It's a low bar, isn't it? So uh, he's um, he's very good, Dino. We actually we tried to get him up the other day for a, uh, one of the one of the skips for the podcast because over in uh, I think it's over in Denmark. There's uh, if you're over 25 mm. and you don't have a partner, mm. you have to be uh, tied to a street pole and they throw cinnamon at you yes, in the town square that is true. every so, year. <laughs> every year. So, uh, and so actually, Natalie, we would, I, I would be I'm, under the Uluru of cinnamon. Yes, well, I, I'm going to Denmark in uh, July, so I need to check out whether when they when this happens, yeah. <laughs> give a low profile. Well, well it, was, it was an ill-conceived idea though, because we, we're trying to convince Dino that we're going to go down to the pier one night, time to the uh, the pier, and everyone can turn up and throw cinnamon. But have you realised how expensive cinnamon is? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not saffron. So, no, that's I mean, true. You know, no, that's but, true. <laughs> that, but like so in, we're in now in negotiations quantities. with a cinnamon company to try and get supplies. <laughs> so can I, I'll be honest, I don't know how expensive cinnamon is. What's cinnamon going for these days? Yeah, it's, it's very expensive. So it's probably it's, it's, it's more expensive than gold. No? Wow. So, uh, um, but, yeah, no, it's all good. And he's a big West Coast boy, so he loves him. And good to see the, the Eagles back on track on the weekend. Yeah. Which was fantastic yes. to see, and uh, the, obviously the big derby on Sunday, which will be pretty cool. Yeah, what do you reckon um, about so that? Like, because are, are Frio as bad as everybody thinks they are? From your point of view, what do you think? No, they're not as bad. No, absolutely. Well, they played finals last year, yeah, of course. No, they won a final, so yeah, they they need to try and quicken up the the game style without getting too technical. They play a bit more of an exciting brand of football, and that's what you saw on the weekend with Adam Simpson and the Eagles. Yeah. They actually. They played an exciting brand of football for the first time in a while. Yeah. And look what happens. They won. Yeah, so, that's true. <laughs> there, might yeah. Be, there might be something in that. So hopefully Justin Longmuir, who I think is a really good coach, um, and the Dockers boys will be able to turn up and play a you know, more exciting free-flowing game of football. And uh, hopefully that lends itself to a good contest. So, um, so you know, it'll be good. Obviously a big crowd there. And um, they'll be looking out of the Eagles get up over the Dockers. There'll be some questions asked. Yeah, there'll be a party in the old town as well. Who do, you, who do you go for out of Eagles and Dockers? Well, I, grew up, well I, I spent eighteen months. I spent eighteen months in Perth as a yeah. young fella. Yeah. You know, I lived in uh, Florida, mm. and I that was when the Eagles won the flag, the first flag. So I've still got a soft spot for the West Coast Eagles. Yeah, and uh, I knew Brett Hetty. Yeah, uh, when I was a young fella, and uh, met Chris Main wearing a few times, and Few of the old West Coast legends, so I had a bit of a soft spot for West Coast, of course. Who and I the... played football for West Coast Juniors. Did you? Which is yeah, in the St Kilda colours. So, I, so I used to go around and, when I got back to Victoria. Uh, we moved back there. I used to tell everyone that I played for West Coast, nice. the junior team, yeah. <laughs> even though yeah. they had no affiliation to the West Coast Eagles. So, who is who are you living in Florida with? Family. Well, yeah, family. Yeah, mum. Mum was a uh, midwife. At, 
St John's in Subiaco. Yeah. And Dad had a stay. Dad had an eighteen month um, sort of holiday. Leave with our, leave with our pay. So he was the stay at home dad. Honestly, no. by the end of it, uh, we I've never eaten I've never eaten steak and chips or chops and chips more in my life. <laughs> the old man was in charge. <laughs> dad was on the tools in the kitchen. <laughs> What do we got tonight, Dad? I just got chops, mate. <laughs> that was a big them? surprise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No charcoal. He, he had no, not, not, not the greatest chef, but uh, so that was our eighteen months while Mum was working flat out at St John's. So it was yeah. pretty cool. Oh, Brady, um, well, my dad, um, he loves to cook, and he is actually a good cook. But um, he doesn't get celebrated on air. Like Mum makes these bacon savouries that we yeah, just rave about, and so he's got nothing that he can really hang his hat off. So. He started making a thing called a la Brian. So it's whatever it is a la Brian. It could be ravioli a la Brian, fettuccine a la Brian. It could be rice a la Brian. But it all tastes the same. It's the same ingredients. It's the same flavour profile. Yeah, it's the same flavour profile. <laughs> so is your dad Brian as well? Yeah, yes. my dad's Brian as well. Yeah, my, my, dad's, my dad's Brian. <laughs> there you go. So the renowned so we, got, for we got a la Brian every yeah, exactly. <laughs> The life a la Brian. Ball, a la Brian. <laughs> um, did you get uh, Brian as a middle name? I did. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and yours just like a, a run of the mill, um, you know, off the shelf, Brian. B R I A N. Yes. Me no too. Fancy Y. No fancy Y's. I, I didn't get the fancy Y like the yeah. Brian Brown. Yeah. Uh, the actor, of course, the famous actor. So, uh, which I've also been. Did you did you ever go around Nathan and say <laughs> Brian Brown the same actor as your dad? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly you did, Brownie. Right, yeah, but I mean, it was, e- it was easier for you because your last name was Brown. It was a bit more difficult for Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, I would go around saying Jenny Morris, the singer, was my auntie. So, um, yeah. Same, same. Yeah. Well, there you go, Jonathan yeah, Brian. Brown. Yeah, go. Nice one. There we go. I've done the research for you. The cheapest you can get cinnamon at Woolworths, at least, is $53 a kilo. Kilo and and the little jars come in um, ten gram lot, so you would need a lot of there that, you wouldn't go. you? Yeah, that's expensive, isn't it? So yeah. you're gonna throw it. You're gonna throw a heap of it. Yeah, that's right. Though. You're not gonna Obviously throw a teaspoon. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. You're not gonna throw one of those little containers at him. No, although so, maybe I'll, just don't take it out of the jar and peg it at him as hard as you can. Wouldn't it just be cheaper <laughs> to poke him with a cinnamon stick? <laughs> Yeah, mate. <laughs> I never to... thought about that. Solutions focused for you, Brownie. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's great to catch yeah. up, mate. You can check out Brownie's podcast starring Jonathan Brown, Campbell Brown, and our sorry, mate, sorry, Dino, Jonathan Brian Brown. On the, the yeah, Nova right. Player app or wherever you get your podcast. It's always a pleasure, Brownie. Look after yourself, bud. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. Take care. Nice catch up. It is the Western Derby this week. And, of course, that means West Coast play for a West Coast, the form team. And mm. champion player, uh, premiership player, yep. still around legend, <laughs> Jeremy McGovern joins us. Hello, Jeremy McGovern. Hello, Ollie. it's Nat from Nat and Gov today. Yeah, it is. Mate, the way it should be. Yep. Don't you have a giveaway, Gov? Do I, oh, we do have a giveaway, yep. We're giving away what? Oh, Derby tickets. Yeah, we are. Yes, we are giving Derby t- tickets away. Uh, thanks to Bank West. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bounce down to 320 no, at Optus script. Stadium. Oh, my really, no, it. let him do it. Literally, do, do piece Sean's of paper. Job. God, yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, You're doing got... it about as well as Sean at this point. Yeah, yeah just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just us. All right, Gov. Hey, Gov, do we have a giveaway? Yes, we do. We've uh, we've got two tickets to Sunday's Western Derby to give away thanks to Bank West. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bounce down is at 320 at Optus Stadium. Be there to cheer your t- your home team with Bank West. Yeah. Give us a call on 13 24 10. We'll take caller. Mm-hmm. X. 20. Oh, 20. What number X? <laughs> well, we'll make it 20 because that's your number, right? Yeah, we'll go 20. Yeah, that's a good number. <laughs> we'll go 20. Hey, Thanks, Sean, Frank, if you're listening, your job's all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're safe, Sean. Sure, fine. Uh, you better come home. back from the moment. So, you've walked in um, with yes. a present for Natalie's birthday. Yes, what did so you bring have. her? I bought us some scratchies. Yeah, you and did. And this is so good. A fistful. So you've given me two $5 scratchies. Yeah. yeah. And um, one's for Year of the Rabbit. That's a bit of fun. And did you get and a then, heaps with a picture five, of a cow on them? Five, yeah, one dollar. It's look... because it's quick moolah, Nathan. Oh, yeah, it, moolah. I, there's nothing worse than taking too long on a scratch. You just want to get straight yeah, to the point, don't you know, if you want. Some of them now, you have to read the thesis on the back it's, about it's what a lot. it means. I don't really know. I'm scratching, but I don't really know what's happening. The worst thing is, I mean, Jeremy McGovern, of course, you know, like lovely man, but walks in completely ill-prepared, giving you scratches with nothing to scratch. Yeah, that's right. 
climb around looking for a coin. Has yeah. got a coin? So then yeah. I realise I have a coin and then you start bullying me. Yeah, no one really has coins <laughs> these days. It's all Lucky card, I did. Isn't and it? what did I get my coin out of? Your wallet. <laughs> Your coin purse. looks like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That, that's, that's a suitcase, actually, with all your documents from your whole life. In it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I keep some what? receipts. What? I don't know. Just sometimes when I buy things, I shove what? it in there, and I don't know whether I need it or not. Your account. I never use my wallet. Well, and your oh, wallet begs to differ. Yeah, no, it's no, no, packed like, full of what receipts. What is this? This is like receipts. Of Those poor different... trees. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got money in here. Oh, there's actually money. Oh, oh, my God. oh I've big got dog. 50, Watch out. A hundred. I've got one hundred and fifty dollars in my wallet. A hundred? No, I've got one hundred and seventy dollars. Do you know how much Sean wallet? would be crying about that? Go. That you've got cash in your wallet and like no thieving child has taken it. it, and you were oblivious to its yeah, existence. No. I didn't you... win anything on the first one, everyone. It, oh, it's wow. got wheels as well, so you can wheel it around. It's that heavy. <laughs> yeah, <shut up. laughs> oh, let's talk about your wallet, mate. <laughs> no, no, I I, 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 I don't, they don't write articles about how much I get, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe they should. I think they should. <laughs> so. Have you signed again? There was a bit of chatter around you. you uh, yeah, deal? we're not far off. Yeah, we're. Oh, nice. um, I'm, I'm looking to stay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, you're not going I, anywhere. No, I never, I never wanted to. So, yeah. Um, yeah. No, hopefully in the yeah coming weeks, and uh, we'll yeah. get it done for sure. Good man. Now, before we talk about this week, let's yep. talk about last week because. Yep. Geez, it's good to get the W, isn't it? It yeah, just it feels better. A bit of pressure off. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of pressure off, but um, yeah, it's good to get the win for sure. We've mm. we've uh, it's been been a fair while between drinks, mm-hmm. but um, oh, more importantly, I was just proud that the boys played some good footy. Uh, that's it was what we've been great to footy, do. and yeah. there was some real breakthroughs. I reckon Jermaine Jones yeah. had a breakout game. I reckon, like yeah. just him, his run out of the back was unbelievable. Yeah, he did. Um, he sort of flirted with that, wasn't it, Nathan? Throughout his career, <laughs> um, but uh, it was good. It was good. It was good that he uh, he put a good performance together, and so did a lot of a lot of players. Jake did. Waterman was great. Yeah, yeah. We, a lot of boys stood up, and that's what you need mm. to, to win games. So it was yeah. uh, it was good science. Um, do you have a little winning ritual that you are like a little uh, well done, mate? Thing that you gift yourself if Me. you win a game, yeah. yeah, like a little like you know, like we'll have something fun to eat or. No, nah, no, nah, not really. Nothing. Um, it's normal, usual. even if it's just. Oh, oh did you use to and you've forgotten? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did. Ouch. Ouch. Remember when you Nathan, broke your ribs? Did that hurt more? Nathan, you are, you are close to getting hit today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I've got my wallet to defend myself with. <laughs> come on, try and get me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that'd, that'd be bulletproof, that. Yeah, exactly. Now, obviously, um, it's the Derby this weekend. Yes. And it's a lot of hate. And the pressure is all on Freo. Like, their, you know, their season has been written off after just two losses, which seems a bit extreme. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, I think everyone's jumping the gun a bit on this yeah. season. Um, yeah, who would have thought Geelong would be... Zero and two. Yeah. Um, they were the premiers last year. Yeah. And um, Saints are, are two and oh. And yeah, the whole comp's nuts. You North see the Bulldog, Bulldogs knocked yeah. over Brisbane last night. So um, yeah, all pressure's on Freo for sure. Pressure on everyone, I think, um, yeah. in the whole comp. We've all, we all, everyone needs to play well each week at the moment. But um, yeah, it should be a good game. It, it's, 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 uh, it's lined up to be a big one, I think. Mm. So wow. hopefully we can get the Chockeys. That's fantastic. Any football questions, Nathan? Nah, not one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not one. At all, three thinking the whole wallet situation. <laughs> <laughs> Harry just showed. Harry just showed his. That's his wallet, yeah, which see, is like that's, three that's credit modern, cards thick. Yeah, but do you, you carry that? Uh, this is always permanently just in my bag, yeah. and I never use it because I pay with everything on my watch. But I get it. I get well, it. Well, then what have you got up for? What? Why are you, you carrying pay with everything it? on your watch? What do you got that for? Yeah, he makes it because I need. Point. I need the physicalness of the cards to live somewhere. You what? can't just live on, like, you know, there could be a solar flare today. And then, what? Just put them in your drawer at home. <laughs> well, yeah, but this isn't a drawer at home. Oh, but, that, that no, is, no, it was, in my, portable, it was in my that's bag. That's a portable it drawer. Exactly like, got, no, it's, it's not, it's in your hand. You've that's got a chest speak. of drawers there that you carry around. <laughs> it's a chest of drawers. <laughs> Where do you keep all your Medicare cards and stuff, though? How often do you use your Medicare card? No, I know, but, like, I might need it. For, I've got, what for? I've got what one card. Show me, show me what you've got. I've got it on my phone. That's it. I've just got my license. That's it. Show me, oh, show I don't me, even use me, my license. Show me your photo. Oh, were you seven then? Yeah, I was close. Look how young he is there. Oh, well, you sound to look that old already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how long ago was that taken? Football's yeah, wreaked on, some havoc, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> that yeah. is... Yeah. Yeah, I don't even know how you get it? that in your pocket. Oh, no, I don't get that in my pocket. 
Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've become a little bit. Uh, if the, if you've become a little bit too comfortable around yeah. here, haven't you? If this was going on at the football club, who's the fines master? That would be a fine, right, for oh, carrying sorry, a wallet no. like that? Oh wouldn't no, it? this should be an intervention. At <laughs> we, would, um, <laughs> we would we would be sitting down and having a good old chat yeah. and going, look, mate, you need to get we, your life in order here. We're going to have is, to call some yeah. services. Yeah. I don't anyway, know. Yeah. how old? Find a receipt. Tell us how old it is. Okay, I'll go right to the back. Oh. That's, what's, what's this? Okay, here's a receipt. Okay, what's it for? This is for... Oh, this is my Strata Levies. I must have paid it while I was in the thing, eh? And this... You got date, a receipt for it? What? Yeah, yeah, because you Where's get an email. Trans- this is from This is from the... Uh, the from, uh, so you print... They've emailed it to you and you printed it out. So it's 20, three years 20. old. What? 20, well, if I'm ever looking for it, I know where it is. You didn't even you didn't know, know what it was. Oh, You've got to be on guest free Palmy Burger. When, <laughs> when did when, that expire? I'll go, that expired on the 31st of the 12th, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get rid of that. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I've got a small fries and a free mix spicy too. Yep, all 2020. All <laughs> The we get him somewhere. Yeah. It's got some good stuff in here. Yeah? Oh, yeah. It sounds like... Pull, it, pull another receipt and tell okay, us what it, it's for. Here's it, right, this one here. That's Bunnings. Bunnings. A Bunnings receipt. Pretty manly. What did I buy? I bought one craft spray boil. <laughs> What's a craft spray boil? It was $37. <laughs> what was that? Are you going to take it back? A craft spray I, boil. Yeah, well, maybe thinking, find it and take like, it back. Like, is it Susan Boyle? Yeah, maybe. B-O-Y-L-E. Yeah, what's a boil? Maybe it's short. 400 grams oh. mat. What do you think? It's a brand. Oh, okay. It's a brand. It's so a boil brand. is the brand there and it's right. craft spray. So is that some sort of... I know what... what, you, what you that, was, that, oh. that was when you did Mark McGowan's that painting. That was when yeah, I did Mark was, McGowan's painting. About six years ago. Yeah, See, this is, uh, yeah. not only this, this is like a diary. <laughs> yeah, it's a memory <laughs> board. It takes it Patty takes Palin? 16 people to figure Patty it out. Patty Pallon. You, you bought something at an outdoor store. Oh, yes. Yes, that's when I thought I was going to be a backpacker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I returned it. <laughs> well, you still got the receipt. Yeah, yeah, you could probably let that go. Yeah, okay, I can let that go because I did return that because I realised oh, I'm not taking that's not this for bag you. anywhere. <laughs> I'm that. just imagining walking into your house, there's just stacks of receipts <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> What's this one here? Another Australia Post. Oh, well, I've got a few from Australia Post. All right, well, look. Nathan's just got to work his way through it. Says, Australia Post. What how, What are you sending? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, there, what's this one here? Spotlight in Spotlight. Lowe's. <laughs> what's this one? It's a lot of craft-related ones, Nathan. <laughs> have you noticed? One Marvel Spider-Man mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that for your child? Oh, oh no. No, it wasn't, was it? That's right. You don't have a child. <laughs> Um, <laughs> best of luck to the West Coast Eagles this weekend, uh, Gov. It's always a pleasure. Thank thanks you for guys, the scratches. Thanks for me. I'll let you know. Thanks, if you win on the weekend, we'll I'll, split the, I'll split the winnings. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. I'm keeping them all for all myself. Right, I don't good. know if you're going to win. My spidey senses aren't going. Yeah, yeah. Well, certainly <laughs> didn't win the first one. <laughs> Got to put it in Nathan's wallet for three years. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.